Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley B. Deck. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are working with Cheetah Beauty Hair. They sent over this beautiful chocolate brown number. I love it. It's a lace front wig and we're going to be doing a start to finish install. Of course, you guys know it's beginner friendly. We like to keep it as simple and as easy as possible on this channel. I don't like feeling like it's a rocket science or like a science project. I like to be able to like put the wig on and execute it without feeling like unconfident about the end look. So today we are using the um, beautiful hot tool here. You guys already know this is an OG. You guys seen this in the salons back in the day. My mom had a pair of these, like a set of these actually. I've had a set of these. This is like my second set since I um, am older now. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Be sure to check the description box for a direct link to this wig. And yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video because I think this looks really, really good. <laughs> Jumping right into it, this is a look at the inside construction of the cap. We're going to take a foundation powder that is a shade or two darker than our complexion, preferably a cooler tone, and we're just going to buff it a little bit inside the lace. This is just going to warm it up more specifically around the hairline. This is going to pretty much act as a lace tint. This is what the wig looks like on, and I don't want you guys to be alarmed. We are going to make this one look absolutely beautiful. You guys seen how amazing it looked in the beginning, and we didn't do a whole lot of work so we're going to go ahead and do baby hair today and we're going to give it more of an instagram baby hair vibe this is a look at the parting we are doing a center part with some bombshell curls and again we're going to make the hairline looks super duper natural but before we get to the hairline let's focus on the parting we want to stamp out a very straight or as straight as you can get it center part and we're going to use a dynamic duo to do this this is the wax stick from bdeckbeauty.com paired with our electric hot comb i'm going to go in with as many heat passes as i possibly can to get it as flat as i possibly can um, and i am using a higher setting this is a step you can definitely do on your wig head if you are sensitive to heat now that we're done with that we're going to go ahead and cut off the excess lace you guys already seeing what it looked like in the beginning we are on our way to that but we are definitely going to tweeze out the hairline after the wig is bonded down for our bond today we are using this even product in the yellow can um, and i get this from amazon so i'll have it in the description box for you guys it's very affordable and what makes it even better is that it's pretty much a glueless adhesive because you can just remove it with uh, with just water i was about to say without water with just water by the end of the night if you want to just spray down the hairline and take it off and it leaves minimal residue so it'll be good to go for the next day to bond it down again now here I just pulled the hair back and we're going to go ahead and make the parting look as perfect as we can get it. This is a concealer from Too Faced and I like to put it um, in the parting but I like to kind of pack it in and make it as thick as possible and then I blend it out with like a blank or clean towel now we're going to customize the hairline to make it look a little more natural we are doing baby hair and I am doing the swoops that are kind of like um, equal sides but like more so centered around the arch of the eyebrow i just tweeze it out really good so that it can give the illusion of like scalp you kind of want to see a little bit more scalp and i pulled out anything we didn't need off camera i did go ahead and curl the baby hair away from the face i'm going to use this edge control for my brand bdecb.com along the base of this little curl and we're going to push a little bit of that product back and a little bit forward leaving it a little bit more dry on the ends because we kind of want that wispy look where the hair is not just like slicked down and then we're going to add a little bit of more wax the same wax we used in the parting along the rest of the hairline and just make sure that everything is smooth and flat and straight you guys see what a big difference that made we're going to finish this off with a little bit of sideburn action i cut them kind of short um but you guys can see how snatched the hairline looks on this side i think this looks beautiful but again as always if you don't like baby hair this is just an optional step for those of us who do love it but you can definitely skip out on these steps just use the wax stick and make the hair go back or in whatever direction you choose i love the way this looks you just add a melt belt on top once it's done and it'll be like magic i did the opposite side off of camera and as you guys can see like when you are done and you really 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 are blown away by the results you, you do the little happy dance kind of like when you got food or candy 
So I'm going to go ahead and allow this to melt, even though it looks amazing to me personally. It always kicks it up a notch when you add that melt belt and just let it really, really, really set in. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and add some curls. I really wanted a bombshell look, so um, I'm just trying to spend a little bit more time playing with the hot tools. This time around, I really like the way these curls came out. You guys seen a few videos previously. I did um, a different technique, and I liked those. I'm just trying to master every technique and just kind of know exactly what curls I'm going for and how to get them. If I did not mention the specs on this hair, this is a chocolate brown straight 13 by 4 lace front wig. It is 24 inches in length and 180% density. This is what one side of the hair looks like curled before we comb it out. And again, this hair did come in a straight texture. So this is what it looks like straight. You can definitely just soak it out with the flat iron. Um, but I'm going to do the opposite side off camera. I kind of just showed you the process on this side really quickly. And you can definitely pin curl this, but I just was kind of making sure that the hair was going to fall the way I wanted. At the 11th hour, I did go in and try something a little bit different. Again, I'm just experimenting and I find that when you do that curl in the front, like the bang area above your hair, like on top, sometimes you'll get some of the best curls. Um, that wasn't the case in this situation. The curls I had before were better, but again, it's all about process elimination. I did not let those set, but look how beautiful. It definitely gave bombshell with the curls that I did come out with, and you just add a little bit of hairspray to give a little bit more hold and you can definitely use flexi rods or curlers at night here is the packaging and the free goodies they included make sure you subscribe and check the link for this one in the description box okay babies we are done with the look so i feel like it's an absolutely beautiful color it looks amazing against my complexion i love the way i was able to execute my install um you guys seen in the beginning the hairline was a little bit more on the full side so i just didn't feel up for the challenge of going in and like plucking 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 i knew that for me like the finesse or the hack is that i like to install the wig first sometimes and then i can go in and like pull baby hair forward and thin it out um if you'd like you can definitely thin it out even more than what I did. I kind of was going for more of like an Instagram look where it is like intentionally a lot more full as far as the baby hair goes. But again, you can do no baby hair or you can thin the baby hair out. This is just what I like and what looks good on me. Again, they, the curls, as you guys seen in the very last clip, were very snatched. So just be mindful to use a, um, what do you call it, a holding spray. Okay, so went ahead and touched these up and I'm the type of person like I remember my mom when she was or when I was younger like in the mornings like she would like because she had like finer hair like me um when she wore her well she always wore her natural hair but like when we get up in the morning she would just like curl those two front pieces and let the front or the back like be like however it was like when she wrapped it at night and so she just do those two front pieces and it kind of will give the body to the hair that kind of like made it okay so she would do that and then like we get in the car and go and then like when she got closer to work like after she picked us up or like when we were actually with her we would see her like do one of these in the end and it kind of just brought the look together so that it just wasn't flat you guys know how it is when you have natural hair you want to give your hair a little body seat to the front pieces and you see how beautiful that looks so that's going to be my go-to way to give myself those bangs that i like so much because that seems to work no matter what and so i'm going to try not to touch it but i'm also going to let you guys go be sure to check out cheetah beauty hair i have a direct link to this wig in the description box and in case you missed it all the details are there as well you can also find the few things that we did use to complete this look there as well Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!